in the next part of the video i will be making the rest of the project right so let's log in and in the previous tutorial i showed how to create this pop-up message and now i'll develop the payment status part right so this is the paid and i'll pay later one okay and this one here i'll be creating the rest of the part so let's go to the code part and see what i have done till now is i what i did is i used this part this group yeah this one see javascript behavior see i use this one okay so and this dotted places is the point where i will write my code okay so first so now i will be creating a div class is card and here i will be creating a class of card body and within this i will be creating a form class is form group and here will be a label this is contact or i don't need a label actually uh, here i will be writing input type is text name is uh, uh, name is contact placeholder here i will give enter contact and break this is done and now what i will be doing is i will be giving one more this select and this will be value uh, this will be name is status let's say status and here i'll give option value will be paid paid and one more option this will be value oh value is pay later pay later and here i'll give a break and uh, hr okay so that will look good and then our input <coughs> submit value update name will be let's say <coughs> uh, name will be let's say update data and class will be btn btn primary and this one i'll have to give this class is form control here also class equals form control and now here i'll give a mm, yeah here i'll be giving a break so that it gives some gap and now let's see yeah okay so this is done and now this will be method will be post action will be func dot php and now we'll go to the function part okay and here if is set post oh uh, and this is update data our button name and then it will be our variables right so contact equals post contact and 
one more is one is contact and another one is status equals post status yeah and now our query query equals update appointment tb our table name set payment equals uh, status where contact equals contact and that's it if oh now result result equals my SQLI query oh. con and our query and now if result of oh, result then uh, let's say echo or let's say I'll give a header over here okay rather than echoing over here uh, that will look good so header and here location will be let's say updated dot php and i need to create this okay and file open i'll just open the error one and file open i uh, oh sorry i need to create a new one so new and file save as updated dot php and i'll copy this error ev everything from here over here so that i don't need to type and your uh, i need to change this to your payment status have been updated and i don't require these things uh, i won't be requiring this button so i will be requiring one button to back button right so i need to go back to admin and uh, this will be back this will go back okay and now so this is updated dot php the uh, this one i can cross and here uh, this one is will update the status and now let's see okay wh whether it is working or not so let's go here let's refresh the page let's go to payment status and enter contact so let's take a contact from here let's say this dexter and let's take this contact from here let's place this contact over here and let's see what the status is previously pay later so we want it to be paid so yeah paid is here we click on update your payment status have been updated and now if i refresh this you see this one is changed to paid okay so now if i go here and enter the contact number see the payment status is paid okay so this was it i created this payment status in this video okay in the next video i'll show you how to dynamically take the values from the staff member okay so the staffs can update the doctor this list okay so thanks for watching